90s inspired halo eye. Let me show you. So I know I want to put this very late 90s ice blue in here somewhere. So I'm just going to leave it there. I think I just want to tap it on the lid in a little while, but we'll get there. We're going to start with a clear base. We're going to start at the lash line, take that all the way up to our brow bone. So that clear base that we have on is going to slow down this drying process with this gel liner. And the reason that your gel liners might be patchy is they're drying while you're blending them. Black eyeshadow means our smallest brush. We're going to take that black. We're going to tap in the center first. Then we're going to start to transition it. I don't want it to creep up too far, but we do want to make sure it's nice and smudgy. And a small brush, make sure that we stay in control of the black gel liner and that black eyeshadow. And we're going to do the exact same over here while Jeansy, my kitty cat, snores for us. Nice. And we're going to take the gray, and I grab that on the side of the brush and make sure this is nice and focused. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to start to press it. Jeez, oh, sorry, it literally honks you. I'm going to start to press that right above the black. And you can see by tapping, I'm getting another transition out of the gray. And I picked up more of the gray and we're just going to do the exact same thing over here. But I don't want this to creep up too high. Now we're going to take a fluffy brush, but we're taking it on the side of the brush and we're going to use that shade to blur the top part. Now my dog's snoring. And then this shade, we're going to go a little bit lighter and we're going to put that through the center. Back into the tiny brush, we're going to take that shade and just lightly transition over this way and a little bit over this way, just on the lid though. If your lid does get a little bit messy, you could just take a C30 here and some micellar water. Clean it up a little bit and then just pat it dry with your finger. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade and just ever so lightly buff it onto the lid. If I was to apply it on, when I say it, this color here on a more tacky base, it would show up this intense. So I'm wanting to have that kind of just be a whisper. So I'm kind of setting this area in a sense so this isn't as intense. Did not mean for that to rhyme. Now we're going to pick this up on a fluffy brush. That also means it won't be as intense. The fluffier the brush, the more diffuse the application. And I'm just going to tap this right in the center. I'm going to do a nice little tight line. I'm going to do a couple stamps across my lash line. Then I'm going to take this E26 liner brush and I'm going to lightly smudge, connect the lines, and blend it out. We're also going to do a halo waterline. We're going to leave the center bare for now. I got a few more wears out of these Libre Lashes, style number four. So I talked about a brush being not too dense. That way we can diffuse. So we're going to pick this up on a fluffy brush, and that was my micellar water. I'm going to even that out. And instead of doing a harsh line, because that's what a more dense brush might do, I'm going to use this to kind of melt these edges a little bit. This technique just gives you the most melted edges. Do you see how melted that is? And then I'm going to do the same thing through here. But make sure you're using the smallest amount of micellar water. We're going to use this wet concealer to our advantage. We're going to take our E26 and smudge this a little bit and connect it out this way. We're going to do this shadow stick and the waterline and underneath here. A little white eye pencil. Just highlight the very center. I'm going to use my favorite lip liner at the moment. Pop it with this gloss. Isn't this pretty? Dust around the edges of the eyeshadow with some translucent powder and this is our finished look.